Thanks for tuning in to today's video, where here we're going to go over a math problem that we're going to work through together, and we're also going to go over a common mistake that some people may make when solving this problem. The problem that we're going to work through is 4 plus 4 times 4 minus 4. So looking at this problem, a lot of people might look at this and think, okay, well, I know how to solve this. I'm going to add 4 plus 4 which is going to give me 8, and then I'm also going to subtract 4 from 4, which is going to give me 0, and then I'm just going to multiply 8 times 0, which is going to give me 0, so the answer here should be A. Now, if you work through this problem this way, then you're not going to get the correct answer because you weren't following the order of operations. So let's work through this problem together, except this time we're going to follow the order of operations. Our original problem was 4 plus 4 times 4 minus 4. So since we have multiple operations within this problem, we need to make sure that we're following the order of operations here. And over on the left-hand side, we can see the acronym PEMDAS, which stands for the order of priorities when solving problems just like this. The P in PEMDAS stands for parentheses, and the E stands for exponents, and since we don't have either one of those, we're going to move on to our next priority of multiplication. So we're going to start out by multiplying 4 times 4, which we know is going to give us 16, and then we're going to bring down the rest of this problem. So we have 4 plus 16 minus 4. So since we don't have any more multiplication to deal with, nor do we have any division, we're going to move on to our last priority of adding or subtracting. And we're going to accomplish this by working from left to right, because adding and subtracting are the same priority. But here, we can work through this problem a little differently, because we're adding 4 and we're also subtracting 4, and those two are going to cancel each other out. So that means that our answer here is going to be 16, so our answer is C, 16. So when you're solving problems with multiple operations within the problem, make sure that you're following the order of operations so you can get the correct answer. If you enjoyed this video, then please smash those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.